It's been a while, but I'm happy to announce the return of The Rewind. If you're new to The Rewind, it is a weekly recap of last week in gaming news with some things to get you excited, the plays, and others that we may want to take a moment to digest, whether good or bad or all things in between, the pauses. Now that you're all cut up, let's start out with the plays. During PlayStation 5's live event, the sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn was announced, Horizon Forbidden West. In the newest installment, Aloy and Silence will travel west to new lands of America, the Pacific Coast. The trailer gave us glimpses of Aloy swimming around, the towers of the Golden Gate Bridge, and many more. And now we have an idea of when it will come out based on a new video this week. Horizon Forbidden West is set for 2021, so already looks like it'll be a better year for us. It's 11.30 and the club is jumping, jumping. Okay, not the club, but you'll be at home. A group of Nintendo developers created a jump rope challenge for the Switch to get you active while you're at home. You'll use your Joy-Cons to get your movements going as you jump with your invisible jump rope. And for those who may have health issues where jumping may not be easy, there's also modifications for you as well. Someone else want to get on the fun? Well, hand them one of your other Joy-Cons and you both can get jumping together. The game is available for the free until the end of September, so grab it while you can, even if you can't play it right now. Do a thorough job and catch the rescued Pokemon. Pokemon Presents was this past week and gave us some exciting Pokemon news, like Pokemon Smile. Pokemon Smile's mission is to take the stress out of Pokemon getting your young Smile kids to brush their teeth time, by making it fun and interactive. Adventure. In Pokemon Smile, you'll use your phone's camera to allow your child to Pokemon play the game. Smile. Now the rest is up to your kid as they must rescue Pokemon from the fun. cavity causing bacteria by brushing their teeth. You can set a timer to help them along their quest, and plus, they get special awards for brushing regularly. Pokemon Smile is out now on iOS Pokemon and Android. Smile, available now. Pokemon Cafe Mix. Also announced is Pokemon Cafe Mix, which is set for a release on June 24th for the Nintendo Switch, iOS, and Android. In the game, you'll be put to run a cafe where you'll need to complete puzzles in order to serve drinks and dishes. The puzzle is done by clicking a Pokemon icon and dragging it to an icon of the same Pokemon species to clear those icons. The more puzzles you complete, the more your friendship with Pokemon grow, unlocking cafe upgrades and new Pokemon customers. The game will be free to play, however, there are microtransactions within the game. It didn't stop there with new game announcements for Pokemon. For those who can remember, Pokemon Snap originally released in 1999 on the Nintendo 64, and now the new Pokemon Snap will be coming to the Nintendo Switch. New Pokemon Snap will take you to islands with various terrains, beaches, jungles, you name it where you will explore and research various Pokemon in their natural habitat and must document them by taking pictures. There's even hints of some new, never-before-seen Pokemon expressions and behaviors for you to capture. There is no release date set yet, but this was a nice revival to see. Well, enough of that. Let's get to the pauses. We're going to start out the pause with cyberpunk news. We got some cyberpunk news last week. In a tweet from CD Projekt Red, we got some news about the release date of the game. In the tweet it states, We've decided to move the launch of Cyberpunk 2077 from September 17th to November 19th. Those of you who are familiar with the way we make games know that we won't ship something which is not ready. They go on to explain the decision behind this as well as tease some content that they will have for the Night City event for the game on the 25th. That's this week, don't forget. We've been waiting since 2012 for this game, so... A few months won't hurt, right? But while we wait, they've also stated that once you buy Cyberpunk 2077, it'll be available for you for next gen. So that means if you buy it for the PS4, you'll have it for free for the PS5. So I guess we can't be mad at that. Is your roommate interrupting your game to watch? And now for some Google Stadia news. Google has recently introduced a lower cost version of their Google Stadia Premier Edition, costing $99. Previously, it was $129. This edition comes with a Stadia controller, Chromecast Ultra, and a subscription service that gives you an access to an array of titles that are available on Stadia. So, where's this $30 difference coming in savings? Well, it comes from the removal of three months of Stadia Pro. So, you'll need to pay for that. And yes, it's $30, so 
Not really savings, huh? Sound and free games regularly. Well, that wraps up the rewind. You can catch us on thisislevelup.net or any of our social media channels to stay up to date on the latest in gaming news. Until next time, guys.